All right, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, new people to the world. Israel-Palestinians conflict, the challenge of control level. Jerusalem neighborhood. I'm going to watch on YouTube. In this one guarded street, you get a pretty good idea of the argument that's raging here. Jewish settlers are trying to expel Palestinians from several homes in the neighborhood, a move emblematic of the decades-long conflict. This place, Sheikh Jarrah, is the latest flashpoint, but it's the same old story. It's about territory and a shared holy land. It's about who lives where. In short, it's a battle over whose ground am I standing on. I went to meet Muhammad. Very Al true, whose ground I'm standing on. His house is now occupied by settlers. The house that they've taken over, we live on the inside part. He insists he's not going anywhere. We will not leave, reads the sign on his fence. Um, what I see happening here is a violent um, displacement of Palestinian families who are thrown out um, in their, uh, of their homes. And under international law, that's, uh, that's a forcible transfer of population, which is a war crime. We took it in 1956. As we spoke, his father appeared with a document signed by the Jordanians in 1956 that he says proves their right to live there. With no answer from the settlers installed in the house, we went to the office in West Jerusalem of the man leading attempts to settle Jews in Sheikh Jarrah. Making a real estate argument between the Arabs in Sheikh Jarrah to make it an international uh, fact is something that is uh, for that it's, it's pure. It's an argument that goes to the very core. We talked about this video that emerged in which a Palestinian in Sheikh Jarrah challenges a settler. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No. Your own settlers saying, if I don't steal it, someone else will. Acknowledging what is stupid. You've had, you've had, you've you, had, you, had, you, you had, want, nobody said it. You said it's not stupid. No. Now, you want me to, to, you want me to bring UN. you, you want you've me had to, the UN, you've had the UN saying what's happening could amount to a war crime. What? What could my name of war crime? What? Expelling these people from their homes. Tell me. Could amount to a war crime uh, under international so law. So the UN that we know, how much it's for? Okay. Who cares about what the UN is saying? So you don't care that it could of be. Of course not. I care crime. about one thing. God. God. I know what I'm praying for three times at least every day. And I know what the Muslims are reading in the Quran. And I know what you are the Christian reading in your Old Testament. And it's written one thing. Jerusalem is the land of Israel, the land of the Jewish people. And there you have the nub of it, a snapshot of the divisions of history, statehood, and religion that run so very deep here. Well, there we go. There we go. That's just the way it is in the world, then, as one would say to me. What would you guys and girls think about that? All right. Thank you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.